Hello everyone, I'm Brian and today I'm doing a trailer reaction to Superman and Lois 2021 trailer. So I used to watch the old Superman and Lois show on TV with, um, oh god I can't remember his name, but he used to come on TV a long time ago, I liked it. And from that show, I never realized this, that I don't think you ever see him fly. Because apparently Superman's powers are all individually owned by different creators so if you have the right to Superman that doesn't necessarily mean you have the right to his uh, frost breath flight x-ray vision laser vision <clears throat> but I think I think DC has finally <laughs> obtained the rights to all of Superman's powers so I uh, I don't I've not seen this trailer I don't know anything about this particular I don't know if this Superman has all his powers or not so let's go ahead and see what powers this Superman has. Let's go ahead and give this trailer a shot. We were dreaming about having a family that didn't look like this, did it? Lost jobs, teens with severe anxiety, <laughs> parents gone too soon. Why'd you move the family here? Still looking for the simple life? Since those days are gone, Clark. Long gone. Does he actually have a child? The weight of the world. Master Chief, what are you doing there? I really wish I could get drunk sometimes. You're saying you're Superman? Well, we've seen Superman before. We've seen him. Am I a bad father? We're gonna be alright. No one ever dreams about the problems, but every life has them. Even the extraordinary ones. Superman and Lois, two hour premiere. Tuesday, February 23rd. Okay, okay. Um, so we, we do see him flying. We do see his gust of breath powers. We don't see the x-ray, laser. We do see the kryptonite. And we see Master Chief over there. I don't know who that is. I don't, I'm not familiar with that villain for Superman. I'm wondering if it's just a new villain created for the show or whether it's an unknown villain just to start off the series, you know, kind of light. Instead they're bringing Doomsday in there. <clears throat> Alright, let's go over the trailer. It looks like his family's, you know, where Superman was born. And I'm guessing it is so, because uh, I'm assuming the, uh, this is like, I guess sometime after they were married and they kind of settled down a little bit. And I'm assuming this is our, their kids. You know, there's a joke about when Superman releases, <laughs> who can handle Superman? <laughs> That's a weird thing to talk about. So, the Kent right here, I, I think this is the original Kent family. The one that adopted Superman, and maybe their parents are finally gone, and I think that's what they said in this trailer, right? For the family here. Still looking for the simple life? Since those days are gone, Clark, long gone. Master Chief. God, it's, they said it's somewhere around here. I missed the part. There goes the um, the kryptonite. Very dark green this time around. And there goes Master Chief. I, I really don't know who this is though. It looks like Master Chief though, for sure. But um, yeah, I'm not familiar with this villain for Superman. He has some very similar powers to him apparently. Sometimes. Superman. The costume looks pretty good. I mean, it ain't bad. It's, it looks a little bit like the movie one, I guess. You know, it's a tight, very tight fitting as opposed to the cartoonish one back in the old Clark Kent um, TV show. I just, is he really there? Or is this a... We're gonna be all right. No one ever dreams about the problems, but... Yeah, they're surprised. Is our dad... Well, I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's their, their kid. I'm assuming so. They're, no one... I mean, if you look at their place, they're, like, isolated. There's, like... Who uh, who knows wh how far away the closest... The next neighbor is. So that has to be their kid. Super breath and super flight. Okay. <clears throat> the CW... 
Superman and Lois to our premiere event, Tuesday, February 23rd. Streams free next day only on the CW. Oh, okay, cool. So we got actually can watch it for free. Hey, I don't have to worry about paying for it, but I'm sure there's gonna be lots of ads in it. All right, um, I did enjoy the old Superman back in the day. It was something to watch. Um, this does look interesting. Um, I am curious as to when this is supposed to be taking place. It, again, like I said earlier, I, I think it seems to take place not where the original TV show took place. That seemed to be like the beginning of him being in Daily Bugle. I believe that's the, is it the Daily Bugle? I can't remember the newspaper company he worked for. <clears throat> but um, the old one seemed to take place whenever he was first starting there and still starting out. And this one seems like closer towards the end of that that uh, that event in his life like maybe he's retired um and he just wants to stay home with the family at least that's what i'm getting from this trailer i don't know if they're still working for the paper company or not or they have their own you know um company also those kids look like they're there so that's the reason why i'm thinking this is a little bit further down the lines because i think those are their kids and they seem like they're in their teenagers, so it's got to be like, they seem like they're in their 12 to 16 year old range. <laughs> Hard to tell nowadays, but yeah. Um, and I guess, and that's it, that's it. I need to stop talking, and that's what I'm saying. It's probably along those lines. I don't know who that, that villain is. I'm not familiar with all of Superman's villain. The most famous one is uh, uh, Doom, Doomsday with him actually killing Superman for the first time, but he didn't really kill Superman. Spoilers, whoopsie. It's an old story now. <laughs> um, and then a few others. Uh, Lex Luthor. It's not Lex Luthor for sure. I don't know who that is. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. I'm not familiar. Is it? Is it Master Chief? Anyways, this trailer alone, I'm going to rate this. Uh, I think this will give me about a 3, point, 3 to 3.5. I do want to watch it. I just... It's not really drawing me in. I guess the nostalgia is not there. I don't know if it's just I feel like I'm busy. <laughs> That's going to be terrible. But I, I hopefully I will get a oh, damn two hour prevent. That's a freaking movie. Wait, is it a movie? Or is that a TV show? Holy crap, two hours. I just I, I it just now registered that it's a two hour premiere event. <clears throat> is it a movie? Is it a TV show? Anyways, regardless, if it's a movie, something that I can get done and over with, if it's a TV show, that takes commitment because, you know, I have to watch it every week or so. So, um, regardless, um, I do want to check it out. I just got to find time, really. It's been kind of crazy. But what about you guys? What would you rate this? Would this a 5 I must watch, a 4 will watch, a 3 may watch, a 2 I may not watch, or a 1 won't watch? Let me know in the comments below and explain your reasoning why. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.